Hey everybody, I've got something I want to show you in case you don't know. See, this honey has turned to sugar. Do not throw this away. If you have honey like this, do not throw it away. Honey never goes bad, ever. And what you need to do is get you a pan of water and bring it to a rolling boil. When it comes to a rolling boil, take it off of the burner and put this jar or bottle of honey in the water and let it set until that all dissolves. Do not boil the honey. Do not put it in the water on the burner while the fire is on. You must take turn the fire off and put it in the boiling water, move it off of the burner to another burner or on a, a dish mat and let it set until this honey, this honey uncrystallized. It crystallized and it's still good, but that's how you get it back to the way it should be. And like I said, please don't ever throw your honey away because honey never goes bad. And it's something that's really, really good for you. And I'm going to have some on a biscuit this morning. But I just wanted to tell you this little tip uh, about the honey. But wait until the water comes to a rolling boil. Move the pan off of the heat. And put this jar bottle of honey down into the water. And let that dissolve and, and melt the crystals. Okay, that's your tip for the day. Hi, how is everyone? I don't have very much of a voice. I've been sick for several days. I got sick a week ago on um, a Sunday night. Coughed all night. Had to go to the doctor Monday. And uh, what I've got seems to be an after effect from COVID. I had this tickling right in here and it would not stop and you can't quit coughing. And I've coughed almost for a week. And I'm still coughing. My lungs were clear, but anyway, I just wanted to uh, get on here real quick because I've not been on here. I haven't felt like it. And show you what I was doing. I've got a pan of water on here, and I've put a sprinkling of salt in. And I'm going to, when this comes to a boil, I'm going to put some eggs in here. But I'm not going to put them in till it comes to a boil. Then I'm going to cook them uh, for about 10 minutes. Turn the heat off. Let them set for about 5 minutes. And then I'm going to peel them. And I'm going to make some egg salad. And I'm going to show you how I do that real quick. So this is going to be a really, really, really short video. Because, I, like I said, I, I'm still not over this completely. And... Uh, I've I've been not being able to do much but cough for a week. So anyway, in case you wondered what happened to me, that's what happened. There's always something going on, isn't it? Well, anyway, I will be back when I get the eggs boiled. See you in a little bit. Okay, I think I'm back on here. I've got one egg peeled already, and it peeled slicker than a whistle. So I'm going to show you the rest of them real quick. And um, sometimes when you buy uh, eggs at the store and they're really fresh, fresh, they don't peel so good. But uh, these are doing wonderful. They're just peeling up just slick as a whistle. There's three of them. Now I just kind of uh, crack them all the way around and that helps get them started and get that mem membrane going to come off. So far, so good. Anyway, I wanted to tell you something. 
while I'm doing this. Um, I was sitting in my chair and I was a thinking and I said to myself, I wonder why you can't buy bacon grease at the grocery store. And if you can, I had never seen it. So I got to looking it up and I went to Instacart and looked at Hy-Vee and Price Chopper and Walmart, but they didn't have it. So I went on Amazon and lo and behold, you can buy bacon grease. Well, it's not that I really wanted to buy bacon grease, it's that I'm always out. And because I don't cook a lot of, of bacon just because I'm for just me. And the only reason I would cook a lot would be to get the grease because that's what I like to make my gravy out of. I like bacon gravy better than sausage gravy. And sausage gravy has, I go when I make it, I a lot of times will add my bacon grease to my sausage gravy to give it a little more bacon flavor. And uh, that's what I like to do. Now I'm gonna show you, I've done this before and I know you've seen me do it. This is my little egg slicer. You put your egg in here and then you put your little cutter on top. Let me see if I can move this back down so you can see what I'm doing. And then I slice that through. <laughs> and then the camera falls down. And then I take this little piece back out, turn the egg the opposite way, and run it back through again. And I've got little nice pieces. And uh, I need something. I'm gonna put those eggs over in this bowl right here. So I will. And I better get the water, drain the water out of this bowl because I don't want water in my egg salad. Uh, okay, so I have one egg ready to go in. That's what it looks like. So I'm gonna do all these eggs. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you about that bacon grease. I thought, well, I wished I'd have thought of that earlier. I'd have, <laughs> might have made me some money thinking up a good idea like that. Bacon grease that you can buy in a, I think it's in a plastic container. And someone that was writing reviews about it said they didn't really care for it in the, being in the plastic container, but I don't know what, I guess they could put it in a glass jar or maybe a can like, like the shortening cans. I don't know. I really don't know what else you could put it in, but I thought that was a good idea because I'm always running out of bacon grease there. I'm always wanting to make some gravy and I don't have any. And that's my favorite kind of gravy is bacon gravy. Okay, let's take that egg out and turn him around and go the other way. Now I have used eight eggs I boiled them, I brought my water to a boil, then I put the eggs in, and I boiled them for 10 minutes. Then I took them off the heat and set them to the side for about five minutes. Then I put them, rinsed them in cold water, and let them set for just a minute in the cold water, and then started peeling them, and you've seen me peel them, and they peeled like a dream.
Uh, when I do eggs that way, I never have any trouble, or I haven't so far had any trouble getting them peeled. So I think that's the best way to go. I, I have cracked my eggs a little bit after I got them in the water, but this is this is just just easy and they do just fine this way. Okay, we've got one more egg after this. And basically, what I'm doing is making deviled eggs, only I'm not making the eggs like deviled eggs. I'm just mixing them all up and making a salad. But it's the same, you use the same ingredients. Okay, that's all of our eggs. spoon of pickle relish in there and about a tablespoon of juice. This, now I'm using sweet pickle relish. I was making this for someone else that don't like uh, sweet relish. I would use dill relish. And I'm going to put in about that much mayonnaise or mayonnaise mustard and um, you can add how, whatever the amount you like and doctor it up like you would your deviled eggs. I'm going to put a sprinkling of salt and some pepper. And then I'm going to do about two tablespoons of mayo. My favorite brand is Duke's Mayonnaise. I love it. And use your favorite brand. And I'm going to stir this all up. And like I said, this is basically deviled egg, only mixed up in a salad. Now, there's other things that you can do to this if you want, but I don't feel the need, and you can put onion in here. You can put celery in here, but uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna put a little spoon in here and give it a little taste. needs more relish. It needs a little more relish. Where I like mine sweet, some people don't like theirs as sweet. And you know what? I don't know what I'm going to do. I am going to put a dash of sugar in here. Just to, got some in my hand. Just a little bit, not much. Stir that around. Much better. Much, much better. Okay. Uh. 
Now, I am going to make me a little sandwich. Eggshells away. I'm going to cut my a little crease in the middle of my slice of bread. So we will bend and fold, and I'm going to put me some egg salad on here. You could put a slice of tomato on here with it if you wanted to. And I'm going to take a bite of this. Mm. Oh, that's so good. So very, very good. Mm, mm, mm. Love it. I've got a, one other thing I want to show you. The other day, I um, told you about honey. And not to throw your honey away. If it gets hard or turns to sugar, boil a pan of water, put your honey in the pan after it's come to a boil, take your pan off the stove and set your honey down in it. And it will clear it up. Now I might've left this in there too long and it's really, really thin, but it's still good and honey never spoils. So, um, that I had showed you what this looked like before I before I did that. Put some out in this spoon, and I'm gonna taste it. Mm. It's still wonderful. Otherwise, I would have had to throw them that much away, and you don't ever have to throw your honey away because, like I said, honey is the one thing. It doesn't ever spoil. It may turn to sugar, but you can remedy that and still use it. You can still use it to cook with or whatever. But um, I just wanted to tell you that. And uh, do this quick little video and I might put, I don't think we had put the honey one on there yet and I'll put it on first. And uh, I did get another x-ray of my shoulder, and they keep saying it's arthritis. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going in in at the 1st of April and uh, talk to an orthopedic doctor and see what he says. And Hopefully, I can get some help with my shoulder. And if I can, I won't be in pain. It'll be wonderful. And for all of those... Uh, all of you that are in pain, I know what it's like, and it's not its not pleasant. It's hard to be a pleasant person when you're in pain. But just remember, you could always be worse. There's a lot of people out in this world that are way worse than what I am, and I'm thankful for all I have. Truly thankful. God has been good to me, and even though I have to deal with this pain, I don't blame him and I don't not love him because of it, because he is my provider, he's my caregiver, he's the great physician, and I keep praying that he'll help me find a way to 
get out of pain so I can do more for other people. That's what I want to do. I want to do more for other people, especially those that are in need of, of help, any kind of help that I could give them. And I hope you all have a good rest of the day. And um, tomorrow's Sunday and the week's about over. It's getting colder again, but we're going to plug through for some warm weather. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye-bye.